As many of you can already tell, I am sitting at the desktop in Windows 7, and today I will be showing you how to create and move guides in Adobe Photoshop CS 5.1. The first thing we need to do is open our Start menu and navigate to Adobe Photoshop. Now we can open this, wait for the splash screen to load, and bring up our full window. As you can see, here is my workspace, over here is my layers, paths, and masks panels, my adjustments and color panels here, mini bridge, navigator, histogram, info, and a couple other options listed here, history panel here, swatches and styles here, and channels here. Now the first thing I always do when I open Photoshop is I click the mover tool so I know what tool I have active. Now we're going to go to file, open. We're doing this so that we have an image to work off of. We're going to select the, the image bonfire. This is a JPEG type image. So next, when I click on it, the name appears here, letting me know I have it selected. It matches a, um, a preset listed here, which it does. It matches JPEG. So we can close this. Here's our preview. It shows that it's loaded. And then we can just click open. Wait for it to load. And here we go. Here's our image. As you can see, it's overlaying on the workspace. Now to create and move a guide, all we have to do is click and drag on either the vertical or the horizontal ruler. So if I click and I drag, notice the line being drawn. As I release, a guide is created. By doing this repeatedly on both rulers, you can create yourself a nice little area to um, a nice little area here where your images will snap to. This is nice for if I want to line up images. I'm going to delete a couple guides here. If I want to line up images together, I can put one across here, several down, and they'll snap to this so that they won't be all scattered all over the place. The same for the horizontal guide. You can snap the tops or bottoms of the images to the horizontal guide. And it's it's a great use when um when you're compositing and you want to make sure all your images are lined up nice and neat and you don't have an image here, 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 and here just randomly. And another thing that they're useful for is if we position them and make a cross, you can snap it to both rulers and have it right there at the center of the fire. So there you go. How to open, well, how to create, move, and delete guides. To delete guides, all you have to do is bring them back up to the ruler and release. We'll repeat for this vertical guide, and that's it.